On my previous tutorial, I went over the installation and configuration of Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, also known as MDT. During that process, we used the Deployment Workbench console to create an MDT deployment share and configure some of the items such as the operating systems and the task sequences. Near the end of my tutorial, I went into the deployment share section, right click, went into properties and start updating some of these options available to us. However, some of you may have came across an error called MMC has detected an error in a snap-in and will unload it. For example, if I click on Windows PE right here, we will get that error message and this entire console will freeze. Just like that. So MMC has detected an error in snapping and will unload it, report to Microsoft or unload the snapping and continue. However, even if you press OK, it will freeze your console and you won't be able to move anywhere in here. Sometimes this freezing will just stuck in here and you won't be able to do anything other than to go to the task manager right here and then go into the Microsoft Management Console and kill the process. So what causes this problem? What causes the MMC has detected an error in snapping? Remember at the beginning, we went to the Microsoft website and we went to the download and install the Windows ADK page. In here, because we want to download and install ADK for Windows 11 version 22H2, we downloaded the, this ADK package right here and the Windows PE add-on package right here. However, this Windows PE add-on package is actually not a good package. There is some kind of a thing missing there causing the 64-bit version of the ADK to fail. So basically the reason why this thing fails is because every single time the deployment workbench, uh, you know, open the properties of this uh, uh, share and go into the Windows PE, it keep coming back with this MMC has detected an error because the pre-installation environment that we downloaded right here is not properly configured for 64-bit version. So I'm going to kill this process again. I'm going to show you how we can fix that. To fix that, what all you need to do is to click on this uh, link, which is other ADK download, which is just uh, you know below this uh, section of the page. And you need to download the previous version of Windows PE. So we're going to download the Windows PE add-on for ADK uh, Windows 11 from the previous Windows 11 version. Now, if I go to my uh, download folder, I have two files. ADK Win, uh, Windows pre-installation setup a new version that I just downloaded, which is actually the previous version and the one we initially installed. The first thing we need to do is to uninstall the version that we have installed. So I'm going to open it and select the change, continue, and I'm going to remove it and click change. Once we have removed that, I will show you the difference between this version of Windows PE add-on and this version of Windows PE add-on for the Windows 11 um, operating system. So remember, this file is associated with the file that we downloaded up here for the 22H2. And the other file right here is for the previous version of Windows 11. So if I run this right now, the original file, you can see it's only asking for 3.6 gigabyte of data. So that's all it's gonna do when it's installed, 3.6 gigabyte of data. But if you go and check the new one that we downloaded, which is the previous version, so right click and run administrator, you will notice it has six gigabyte of data. So there is almost half of the data from the pre-installation environment on the file that we got it from here is missing 
Pretty much, like you know, half of, half of what we have in the pre-installation environment on this file is missing from the file up here. So basically, what that is is it looks like Microsoft made a mistake or there was some kind of an error in the pre-installation environment uh, for the 64-bit versions on the new Windows 11 version 22H but by downloading the previous version for the Windows PE add-on for the ADK for Windows 11 down here, you would be able to bypass that issue. So let's use the new file, the, basically the older version of it, which is the this, this file. And it has six gigabyte. And let's go ahead and install that one. Once the older version of the Windows PE has been installed, which is the previous version, if we now go back to our deployment workbench and go to our MDT share, right click, go to properties, and if I click on Windows PE, I don't get that error message. So I no longer get the MMC has detected an error in snapping error message right here. So that means the fix for this issue is basically simply go to the download and install the Windows ADK page. Instead of using this version or for the Windows 11 version 22H2 PE right here, you just need to use the version from the previous Windows 11 ADK. Hopefully, Microsoft will fix this problem but for now, that's the best solution that we have. And it, that solution actually works. So the only difference you need to do here is download the Windows 11 22H2 ADK from here. But instead of using the Windows PE add-on for the Windows ADK for the 22H2, we will just go to the previous version and download that one and install it on your server. So that's how you can fix the MMC has detected an error in snapping and will unload it error. If you have any questions or concerns regarding how to fix this problem or you need some help, please make sure to reach out to me. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a nice day.